Hey everybody, welcome to um, a very special uh, video review. Uh, this uh, requires a lot more work than you would think to set this up. And uh, this is not something that I think you'll ever see again um, on YouTube. Uh, it's a pretty unique set of circumstances. And so um, I hope that you, know, you do enjoy it. Uh, so where to begin? Uh, that's always kind of the the difficult thing with my videos because there's just so much to say. Um, it's never a problem, I guess, getting into it, but where to begin is a bit of a, uh, always a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Well, let's just start by, by describing what this is. So these are death warriors, okay? And uh, they are a, a custom predator. They're created from the mind of Naren, uh, in my opinion, the greatest predator sculptor on the planet. He's been the greatest for, I don't know, decades. Uh, he works in Thailand. I love his stuff. I have most of his uh, predator alien kits. And so this was one of his, kind of like his coming out party. This was one of his major designs. Uh, he did it for himself, for his own studio. This was series three. And this was the one uh, that kind of, again, I think maybe launched his um, launched his star, so to speak, and uh, you know that's where he became famous. So this is Death Warrior, and all three are painted by Joe Dunaway. So um, I think one of my subscribers. I, I apologize if I don't uh, remember specifically. I, I think it's the subscriber who starts with Terminator. Uh, uh, I know you, that you've been looking into getting some of. Naren's kits. I think you recently uh, bought a King and Queen, which in my opinion is still, I think, my favorite kit of his that he's ever sculpted. Um, but I think you did want a review of the, the Death Warrior, and you've been you know, so patient with me uploading video game, uh, <laughs> you know, kills on world records, and that's a, a side of my hobby or something I'm interested in. It's completely different from this. And so, um, you know, I wanted to thank you again for your patience. Uh, even if you're the only guy who cares, I put this together, I guess, for you. But I think that there's a lot here to enjoy for um, Predator fans in general, for fans of uh, exquisite, detailed model making, and for fans of great painting. Um, there's a lot, again, to take from this. Uh, so it's really difficult because these kits, and you're going to be able to see it, are just insanely intricate. And two of them were upstairs in my bedroom. Um, I have this little display area for all of my Naren Joe Dunaway kits. So two of them were up there and I had to carry it all the way downstairs. And they're really fragile and it was just like a lot of stress to carry them from upstairs, downstairs, a lot of stairs. And of course I have to carry them back up, which is uh, gonna be just great. And I don't wanna break it, obviously. And then one of them is actually sealed in my display cabinet. So I had to actually slide the door, move other pieces out and then uh, get slide him out. And then I had to dust them. I had to you know, gently use compressed air and then use like a makeup brushes to gently move away some of the dust because dust has been accumulating uh, for a couple years on these pieces. So if you do see some dust, uh, pardon, pardon me for that. Um, it's, that's the reason, but I don't think it detracts too much again from the, art, the artistry of it. So in terms of the background, uh, this is again one of Nara's greatest works. This is the one kit that he has never ever um, taken out of production because it's just so popular. And um, you know, initially he wanted a run of, I think 99 of them. And it was supposed to be numbered and then it was supposed to just be you know, retired. But um, the, you know, the appetite for this and the demand for this was so incredibly high that <clears throat> he just kind of kept making more runs. Uh, but if you're one of the you know, people who own an original number Death Warrior, I, I, I believe that that you know, that is something you can hang your hat on. Um, that is sort of, you know, uh, something, uh, some bragging rights, because that means we've got one of the original runs uh, that's a bit more rare. And so that's really, really nice. Um, and so again, one of these, just one of these kits is a, a huge deal. Uh, I think they sell for anywhere in the neighborhood of $400, not including shipping. They're very, very intricate, very detailed. And then of course, when you get them, uh, for Joe Dunaway to paint them is like, he takes it to the next, to the next level. You know, Joe Dunaway, my favorite predator painter. Um, I, I feel like he's the best predator painter on the planet. Um, there's many out there, but you know, he is my favorite. And uh, what he does is he takes a kit that's already incredibly uh, detailed and he just adds to that. Um, he brings out all of that detail. 
he adds chains and bones and he modifies. And again, uh, much as the Death Warrior sort of put Naren on the map, I want to think that the Death Warrior put sort of Joe Dunaway on the map as well. Because when Death Warrior came out, that was when Joe was really kind of starting to get into the, the Predator scene. Uh, when he began, and he was very young when he started this, uh, and he started putting his work out. And he, in the beginning, he did the same type of work that all these paint masters did. They were doing, you know, uh, garage kits and superheroes. And he already had great talent, already was really, you know, his stuff really popped. But then he took Death Warrior from Naren, and that just went, he just went, it just went crazy, you know. And so basically, in this world, um, for people who care, to have a Naren Death Warrior painted by Joe Dunaway, that's like considered like a grail level accomplishment. Um, it's not cheap. It requires a lot of money, a lot of time. And um, it's almost like a badge of honor or like a mark of prestige to own one of these. Um, and I know that over the past 15 years, Joe must have done at least 14, 15, 16 of these Death Warriors, which is again, mind boggling because Dunaway makes each Death Warrior a little different. None of the 14 are exactly, um, you know, the same. And he adds a little touch and, and he customizes every single one of them. And so for him to still be able to have ideas, um, you know, <laughs> after 14 versions, again, that's just sort of stunning. Um, so now with that backstory, here I am with three of them, which is, again, truly insane. Um, but you know, this just shows you how much I love this kit. And there were times where if I had a chance, if I have a chance to own a Joe Dunaway Naren Death Warrior, um, I try to get it no matter what, because again, they're each so unique. And so where to, where to begin? Um, I guess we'll start with the left. So again, um, you're going to be rewarded for your patience, um, you know, Terminator or Chris or whoever you are, because... I'm showing you all of my Death Warriors. So this is number one. So what is the conceit? Look at this completely wicked, badass face. Um, so fierce, so amazing. Uh, you can see all of the veins on the inside. I mean, you know, this is what a custom Dunaway paint job really looks like. Look at all of the, the airbrushed details, the, the, the freckles, the gunmetal, all of this. Um, just amazing. And uh, so the conceit is that this is a predator, not from the franchise movies. This is a predator from the mind of Naren himself, uh, maybe inspired by source material like Predator One or Two, or maybe from the you know the dark, uh, the Dark Horse comics. But the idea is he's a death warrior. He's he deals he deals death, and his specialty is just destroying aliens. And so you see him in all his glory, um, and then of course you have to you have to go back. And you just see all the aliens that he's destroyed. In the front, you have the plaque, Death Warrior. And he's basically standing on a, on a pile of corpses, of alien corpses. And so there's so many, um, so many of them. There's at least one, two heads. So there's at least two that form the base. Um, and then he's, of course, holding a decapitated alien in his left hand. Um, and then this one, of course, has the, has the tongue sticking out if you can uh, appreciate some of the detail there's always like you know joe always put some drool effects some saliva uh, on the outside and then of course uh, here's another one right here and then all of the tail the spines all of that stuff i'm going to move the other one back a little bit so i can rotate this one so here you go here's the base you can see all of the slime all of that detail look at the look at how much detail joe put into you know the armor Look at all that gunmetal um, effects, all the weathering effects, and all of the, the detail of the alien corpse here. So you can just make out here the back, and then the tail, and here's another tail looping between his legs all the way through. So here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy. I have to move these guys away because they're always like touching each other because they're so, you know, because of the spear. And so this is what I'm talking about. This, this is actually numbered, so you can see that this is, um, let me try to focus this a little bit more. So you can see this is um, Zealous Models. I think that's what Naren called himself or called his studios at one point. He's just now more famous as Naren, but it was, it was Zealous Models, the Naren Series 3. 
And as you can see, this is one of the very, very early ones, number three, all right? Uh, I'm just gonna try to gently move it around so you can appreciate all that detail that Joe put in. You know, I have this little you know, clear ball. There's the back, the spines, the, the back tentacles. And of course, this huge, huge spear that, um, that the Death Warrior has. And then it's kind of uh, modified with chains, with, with uh, bones, uh, the bones of a snake. And then of course, um, the blade, the ax. So stepping back, here he is, in all his glory. Uh, look at all of the, the, the chains that Joe added, all of the intricate details of the boots the armor, and then of course the actual speckling, all the scars, you can see uh, the scars along the legs, the scars on the arms right over here, the slashes, and then the front piece here. Check out that detail. There's the tail coming out at you from the alien. And I say this every time I review a, a Dunaway piece, but you know, like, you can just go literally a millimeter away and nothing ever, it, it just holds up. You know, the closer you go, the better it looks. So look at the shoulder armor right here and then the back. Look at that. And then each tentacle is uh, painted separately. And so Joe had to paint each one of these separately. He, you know, uh, put on the little skull elements separately, just a, a ton of work, all right, a ton of work. And this is one of the simplest ones, if you can believe that. So, you know, a Death Warrior from Joe Dunaway is almost like buying a new computer or a new TV or a new car. Um, the latest model always is the best. And so if you get one of the earlier ones, you're all thinking, oh man, you know, I wish I had that. But if you did that, you would never ever get it done because, um, you know, he always ups himself. So again, look at the, look at the, amazing work look at the paint on these bones stunning right look at the weathering again all that weathering of the armor so yeah you know now you know why um, you know a a Joe Dunaway painted Nair and Death Warrior is so so amazing so this is version one don't ask me how I got it. I, I found these on eBay, found them from collectors who are liquidating. Uh, I know the one I'm gonna show you, I think this guy I just found on eBay. <clears throat> somebody, was, <clears throat> somebody was just selling them and I went for it. And I lost out on one in the past um, or I would have had a fourth. And so, you know, I just missed out on getting the very first one that Joe painted <clears throat> for a collector in Canada who was liquidating his uh, collection, unfortunately. All right, moving on. So this one is the one that I actually bought from Naren uh, personally, and I mailed to uh, Joe. And so this is the one that, you know, I didn't like, buy secondhand. This was made specifically for me. Uh, it remains one of my top pieces, one of my favorite pieces ever. So I'm gonna move them forward so you can appreciate it. So this is uh, Death Warrior as an Elder. And um, I requested from Joe to just like, just bust out everything. Uh, all the quills, all the, the, the shoulder cannons. I just told him to go wild. So this is uh, Death Warrior as an elder. So he has the elder coloration. If you um, can take a look at his um, tentacles and his, you know, the way he painted, look at all of the spots and all of the camouflage and all of this stuff that Joe put. Look at all of the, the, ten uh, the, all of the quills that he put into the chest, the quills on the, uh, the head. Stand up again, just trying to go real close. You can appreciate the paintwork, it's all airbrushed. Look at his face, love it. And then, of course, the, the gorgeous detailing of the, the gunmetal plates, the armor plating, and then look at the dreads. Look at all this work, little tiny. Metal rings, and you have the shorter cannon. Here, let me move this a little bit closer so he's not finding the other guy. 
So you can see the, the wire here, also custom. I'm trying to show you. I mean, you get the idea, but I'm just trying to show you all of the, you know, the intricate work. Each one of them, so much work goes into it. So here's a shoulder cannon. All of this is added. Look at all the quills on the arms. Um, and again, each, each predator has, you know, each death warrior that Joe does is, is a different color, different spotting, different patterns. So check out the one he did for me. I was so over the moon and so just stunned when I got this. This was years ago. And then of course all the chains just sort of dangling. He has a huge alien skull just kind of on his back. Look at all the chains. This is twine. I mean, Joe actually even uses, I think, you know, lizard bones, real lizards that, you know, that he gets with all the, the dangling bones here from this huge spear. I'm gonna kind of show this. He's got the, the blades on that side. So again, very different, right? Very, very different from the other one. The other one didn't have any, any blades. So, you know, if you, I'm gonna try to take a look here so you can see here, right? More simple, no blade, no shoulder cannon. I mean, this is still like a, 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 a grail level piece, like, you know, just a stunning paint job. But, you know, the one I had him commissioned has a lot more to it, a lot more plussing, so to speak, right? So here I like, I like the aliens a little bit slimy. Uh, so it has a lot more gloss. So as you can see, this is a flat paint. This is more glossy. Here's the tongue. Here we have, a, you can see at the bottom here, there's a lot more um, drool, a lot more slime, a lot more gloss that he put on for me. You can actually see my reflection if you look carefully here. Um, again, check out the detail of the feet, the armor. And then, you know, you can actually see the spine. I didn't mention that for the uh, first Death War, but look at that, you can see the spine hanging loose. It's got that kind of yellowish eye core. You can see um, as, I'm, as I'm turning, um, you can appreciate the little bits of mucus hanging up between the vertebrae. I mean, Naren actually sculpted each of these vertebrae out, which is just crazy. And then again, look at the front, like more chains, more bones. So this guy's just kind of completely decked out, you know? So yeah, Elder Death Warrior. I mean, look at this. That is just insane. So good. All right, so last but not least, I got this from a collector in France. Um, so I bought it from him. It was mailed, it actually came broken. I actually sent it to Joe, he repaired it, touched it up, you know, professionally made it perfect. So look at the coloration, very different, right? The crown is a uh, red. It's got the same attention to detail. So again, kind of want to, he's a glossy as well. So I just want to again, just kind of show you the, the, the camouflage. So see how the stripes are different? And look, he um, accentuated the scars here a lot more. So you can actually see the scars here, whereas on here, you can barely see them, right? In fact, that's actually camouflaged on mine. And then for this third one, again, you can see it, but it's a lot a lot more subtle. And here, um, the scars were actually essentially removed. And here, the scars are actually accentuated. A very different effect for the, for the battle axe. And here, instead of two claws, he has one claw in the center. Look at that beautiful detailing work on the, 
the armor of the gauntlet and all the way up and here is his shoulder piece again the red coloration making him unique there's all the skulls again and here he has a chain and here he has a skull on the back so again you see how every single piece is just a little bit different and then of course the base warrior look at all of the uh, the eye core and the, the drool that Joe puts in look at how delicate this thing is right here and here's the, the tongue the vertebra here you have another different armor and what number is this Here you have that ball, that, that slime. And this one is number 93, a later one. The Death Warrior I bought happened to be number 56. So as you can see, I own uh, three numbered Naren kits from the original series of 99. But you know, to sell 99 copies for a garage kit is like stunning success. It's almost like unprecedented, it's unheard of. I mean, we know that Sideshow XM make like a thousand things, no, a thousand. But for this type of uh, stuff, it was just a kit, to be able to sell a hundred is just uh, crazy. So there you have it. Three Death Warriors. Kind of trying to get them as close as I can. It's hard to get them close because of the pose and they each have, of course, the, um, they have the big spears. So I'm gonna try to make one in the front and then uh, have the other guy maybe um, go in the back a little bit. It is a little bit tricky, but we're gonna try to do it. So there you go. This is about the best I can do, I think. Yeah. Insane, so here you go. They're like a little a little tribe of badassery, right? You can, you can imagine like this is like a strike force. So. I'm really happy actually that you asked for this video because it really spurred me to go to all the trouble of making it and I'm really glad I made it um, to again sort of um, rekindle my appreciation for this amazing piece. So going backwards, really, really nice. You can actually see all of them kind of clustered together and then just kind of moving and just kind of appreciating all of that detail, all of the different customizations. This is just really a testament to Joe's creativity um, and talent uh, because you know, it's hard to appreciate until you see it in front of you. Again, there are so few um, Death Warrior Joe Dunaway paintings on YouTube. I mean, the, 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 I mean, of course, I think he's only done 15 of them or 20 of them, but still, um, I think I'm one of the few that put it on, on YouTube. So now, you know, the, the, the collector, the predator collecting community has a chance to appreciate this. There you go. You now he waited so long, the subscriber, and I just wanted to make sure he, um, he definitely gets his money's worth. Nice long video with all the details, the front, the back, all of this. At first I was gonna make like a separate video for each, um, but I felt like that just would have been not very efficient and it would just been a little bit, you know, sort of, repetitious and I just decided hey you know we're just gonna put them all together and it'll just be more cool to show them all together and to see in one video all the different um, the different you know 
the different things that, that Joe has done. And I'll tell you, I mean, if I had a chance, I would get, I would buy more. I mean, but again, normally when people buy one of these, it's like it's in their collection for life, right? It's like an ultimate investment. Um, when, you, when you buy this kit and you pay Joe the money you pay to make this, um, bottom line is you're not selling it. And so it's really, really, really rare to find like, you know, another collector who's willing to part with it. It's just, it's just super rare. I think in 15 years, there's only been three or four of them. The French collector decided he didn't want to get into kits anymore. He wanted to move into life-size busts. So that's when he wanted to let go. And then one of them, of course, was eBay. Another one, there was a divorce, which I missed out on, which and he wanted, he was liquidated because of a divorce. And so when he was selling it, I wasn't even aware that this existed. So I missed out on that. And there was one on eBay that I just lost out on. Uh, again, you can't, you can't win them all, but for me to have three of them, I'm a, I'm already a pretty happy camper. So anyways, there you are. Um, Naren's Death Warrior, all three painted by Joe Dunaway. Uh, it is a very unique, uh, you know, very unique situation uh, to see this. And so I hope you uh, enjoyed all of that, enjoyed all of the, the wonderful detailed work. And until next time, do take care. Bye.